Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to write the equation of the line using two-point form. So, ang formula natin for two-point form is y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. So, dito guys, yung x sub 1 and y sub 1 Yan yung coordinates ng ating first point. Then yung x sub 2 comma y sub 2 natin is yung coordinates ng second point. So meaning, magagamit nyo ng si 2 point form kapag ka ang given is dalawang points. Okay? Then idami na rin natin sa topic na to si slope intercept form na y equals mx plus b where m is the slope ng ating line and yung b si y intercept. Then, meron din tayong standard form na ax plus by equals c, where a and b are both integers. Then, yung c is yung ating constant. Okay? So, example, write the equation of the line that passes through the given points. So, number one, we have two points. The first point is 10, comma, negative 4, and yung second point is 8, comma 6. So, since ang given dito is 2 points, then we are asked to find the equation of the line. Ang magagamit natin formula dito is yung 2-point form na y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus y sub minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1 where x sub 1 and y sub 1 is yung first point natin which is 10 and negative 4 respectively. So, ito yun. Then, ang x sub 2 natin is yung 8. Then, ang y sub 2 natin is yung 6. Then, after natin ma-identify yung mga given natin, pwede na natin i-substitute dito sa ating formula. So, y minus y sub 1 which is negative 4, equals y sub 2, we have 6, minus y sub 1, that is negative 4, all over x sub 2, we have 8, minus x sub 1, which is 10, times x minus x sub 1, and this is 10. Okay? Then after natin masubstitute yan, guys, is isisimplify natin yung ating equation. We have y plus 4, since 2 negatives, di ba? Negative times negative, it gives you positive. Equals, again, we have 2 negatives, so that is 6 plus 4 over 8 minus 10 times x minus 10. Ang next move natin is combine like terms, so we have y plus 4 equals 6 plus 4, that's 10 divided by 8 minus 10, we have negative 2 times x minus 10. Okay? Then, 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 times x minus 10. So, itong equation, itong equation na to is pwede ng final answer since ito ay point slope form. Okay, ang tawag sa equation na yan ay point slope form. Yan yung topic natin dun sa, sa previous video natin. Then, ang gagawin natin is i -re write natin itong equation na to to slope intercept form. So, para magawa yun, move tayo, distribute natin si negative 5 doon sa kanyang binomial. So, y plus 4 equals negative 5x. Then, negative 5 times negative 10 is positive 50. So, alam naman natin, sa slope-intercept form, ang may iiwan lang sa left side ng equation is yung y. So, kailangan tanggalin natin si 4. Okay? So, that is y equals negative 5x plus 50. Then, positive 4, pag nilipat, that is negative 4. Okay? Then, combine like terms, we have y equals negative 5x, 
50 minus 4 is 46. So, itong equation na ito ngayon, ito yung ating slope-intercept form. Okay? So, pwede na natin ma-identify si slope dyan. Ang slope natin is negative 5. Then, ang ating y-intercept is 46. Okay? Then, what if naman is pinakonvert pa sa atin or pinare-write sa atin yung slope-intercept form to standard form. Ang standard form, guys, yung x and y natin is nasa left side ng ating equation. So, dito, ililipat na lang natin yung negative 5x dun sa left side. So, negative 5x, pag nilipat natin sa left side, magiging positive 5x plus y equals 46. So, ngayon, ito na ngayon yung ating standard form. Yan. So, 19 din ba yung tatlong form natin, guys? So, we have the, ang first equation natin is the point slope form followed by the slope-intercept form. Then, yung ating last equation is standard form. So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo, guys. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!